Welcome to iLecture Online and here we're going to do an interesting example in angular momentum where we have three spinning disks independently spinning. They each have their independent mass, 300, 200, and 100 kilograms. They each have their radius, 3 meters, 2 meters, and 1 meter. And they each have their initial angular velocity, 5 radians per second, in the counterclockwise direction for the first disk, minus 25 radians per second, meaning clockwise direction for the second disk, and 75 radians per second counterclockwise in for the small disk on top. So they're all independently spinning. Let's say that perhaps they're all spinning along a rod that connects the three. And all of a sudden, we allow the whatever is holding them up from touching each other. We, bring, uh, we take that away, and all of a sudden, all three disks slam together on top of the bottom disk here. And what would be the final angle of velocity of the three disks when placed together? Again, angular momentum is conserved, so we can say that L initial equals L final. And of course, we now have to calculate the initial angular momentum of each of the three disks. So we can say that I1, omega 1 initial, plus I2, omega 2 initial, plus I3, omega 3 initial, must equal the sum of the moment of inertias of the three disks, because assuming that they will stick together after they collapse onto each other, so that they all of them will then rot be rotating at the same angle of velocity, times omega final, which is what we're looking for. So then we can say that omega final is therefore going to be equal to the left side equation, which is I1, omega 1 initial, plus I2, omega 2 initial, plus I3, omega 3 initial, all divided by the sum of the moment of inertia, I1 plus I2 plus I3. All right, now we have to find the numbers of these. Remember that the moment of inertia of a flat disk is one-half the mass times the radius squared. So it would be one half times the mass, 300 kilograms, times the radius squared, and the radius here would be three meters. We have to square that. So the moment of inertia of the first disk times initial omega, angle of speed, that would be times five radians per second. Remember that when the angle of velocity is in a counterclockwise direction, it's positive. When it's a clockwise direction, it's negative. Okay, now, so we plus add one half times the mass of the second disk times the radius of the second disk squared. All right, so that's the moment of inertia of the second disk times the angle of velocity. In this case, it's clockwise, so it's minus 25 radians per second, 25 radians per second, and then plus the third disk, which is one half the mass, which is 100 kilograms times the radius, one meter, we have to square that, times its angle of velocity, and that's now going to be, since it's counterclockwise, a positive 75 radians per second. And we divide the whole thing by the sum of all the moment of inertias, which is one half times 300 kilograms times three meters squared, plus one half times 200 kilograms times two meters squared, plus one half 100 kilograms times one meter squared. All right, that's a big equation. Now let's go ahead and figure out what these, each of these terms are. Uh, probably need a calculator for that. Let's see, that would be nine times, oh, I better do it with a calculator. 300 times 0.5 times nine times five equals, so 6,750 the first term, so that would be 6750. This is going to be negative, so we have uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, times 2 is 4 again, let's see, 200 times 0.5 times 4 times 25, and that would be minus 10,000, and that would be plus again on that one, so we have uh, 50 times 75 equals plus 3750. Hmm. Divide all that by what's in the denominator. Okay, and then here we have uh, 9 times 300 times 0.5 equals, this is 1350, plus that one here that would be uh, 800, that would be 400, plus, and that one would be 50. All right, 
Now we just have to add all that together in the numerator, all in the denominator, and divide one by the other. So we have 6750 minus 10,000 and plus 3750. So the numerator combined is a positive 500. And the denominator combined, that would be 1400. That would be combined, that would be 1800. So it looks like 500 divided by 1800. Divide by 1800 equals, and finally, the final angle of velocity will be 0 0.28 radians per second. Notice that the amount is positive. Positive, that means it's going to be in a counterclockwise direction. So the initial angular momentum of the middle disc is almost enough to cancel out the initial angular momentums of the top and the bottom disc, but not quite. So as a whole, as a threesome, they will all continue to rotate slowly at 0.28 radians per second in a counterclockwise direction. So CCW for counterclockwise. All right, and that's how you do that.